The Romans adopted a lot of things from their neighbors and defeated nations, but they also invented a lot of things themselves. To some extent, they can be considered the inventors of the movie. We are talking about a monumental structure, Trajan's Column. This emperor was famous for his successful military campaigns. Under him, the territory of the empire reached its maximum size. And it all began with the pacification of the Dacians, a group of Thracian tribes in the lower reaches of the Danube. Under his predecessor Domitian, they had defiantly challenged Roman rule. Under the command of King Decebalus, the Dacians inflicted several sensitive defeats on the Romans, even forcing them to pay tribute. This could not be tolerated, and from 101 to 106 years passed fierce battles on the southern and northern Danube coast and in the mountains, in these battles was not a clear advantage for either side. Dacians proved to be a tough nut. They put up almost 200,000 fighters against 160,000 legionaries. Roman soldiers were horrified to hear of the Romphia, the two-handed Dacian swords that cut through shields and armor with a single blow. All the more honorable for defeating such a dangerous foe. After a long campaign, the capital of the Dacians, Sarmizagetusa, was captured, and Decebalus committed suicide. In honor of the victory in Rome was erected a grandiose structure, a triumphal column 38 meters high. It is hollow inside the column of marble, width at the base of almost four meters. On the outside, it is girdled from top to bottom by a spiral ribbon 190 meters long with bas reliefs depicting the events of the Dacian Wars. As in the historical movie, here are shown Roman legions on a campaign, Sieges of fortresses, the construction of bridges, the death of the enemy king, the triumph of Emperor Trajan, and much more. In total, on this ancient movie placed more than 2.5 thousand figures, legionaries, Dacians, and civilians. In ancient times, wooden platforms were built around it, from which anyone could examine the pictures closer and in detail. The detailing of the images is fascinating. In ancient times, they seem to be colored as well as statues. Figures are made very realistically with numerous small details. Historians have considered them a valuable source of information about weapons, equipment, and military tactics of the time. Recently, however, some researchers have doubted the authenticity and, as in a good blockbuster, found many movie bloopers. The point is that the master sculptors most likely were not direct participants of the events and did their work according to the stories, as they themselves realized. You can believe the appearance of the Praetorians, whom they could see personally. Despite the doubts, this monument is still a valuable example of ancient Roman culture. 